Because if I try to please you, you might not like it. Semua pelakon yang sini-sini, semua had to read their script. Semua kena buat casting. So it's not like any other macam because you got followers, 3 juta, you're in. Tak. Oh my god. Dreams now have consequences. I harap sangat I dapat jumpa you. Dunia nyata ni buat I keliru. I, I tunggu you. Hai, right, assalamualaikum semua. Uh, Bird dari YM People. Tak sure pernah dengar atau tak. Kita orang sebenarnya a bunch of fans yang suka tengok cerita and buat review lah. So... Okay, so saya mainkan watak sebagai Nabila single lady dari luarannya nampak macam happy having fun food reviewer influencer lah in a way anak saya dalam cerita ni Amri seorang totally opposite karakter dengan Nabila sangat pendiam sangat-sangat benda masalah yang dia ada Izu bukan watak sebagai Ehsan Ehsan ni dia seorang yang happy lelaki boleh dikatakan loud juga dia kawan baik dengan Nabila makna in crime lah dalam pada masa yang sama dia ada menyimpan rasa kepada Nabila yang yang dia tak boleh nak luah dia pasal dua individu, ya, two strangers, kan, which is uh, Fatah dan uh, Didi yang tidak pernah berjumpa dengan masing-masing. Uh, Didi ada kehidupan dia sendiri, Fatah ada kehidupan dia sendiri. Dua-dua pun ada macam dia own personal problem sangat lagi. Tak masalah pribadi masing-masing. Tapi kita tak highlight dia. Kita tahu masalah dia. Uh, Didi ada ada lagi Nabi Isan ni dengan kawan-kawan, kawan-kawan, kawan-kawan baik ni yang orang akan suka. Eh, kenapa dia orang tak bersama? Lah? Macam tu lah. That kind of decision. Pada masa sama, Patah pula ada seorang uh, lagi hati nak kupah dekat, dekat pejabat dia yang cuba nak juga rapatkan diri dengan Patah. Tapi because dua-dua strangers ni, tak macam mana. Berjumpa dalam mimpi. And they are giving tips to each other macam mana nak nak, nak settle your problem dan sebagainya. So makin lama makin totally dependent on each other to, to uncover apa masalah-masalah diorang sebelum ni. Dan alam macam tak bagi diorang meet each other selagi diorang tak settle lah this burden, this suppression yang diorang suppress dan bersama-sama diorang ni. So itu yang audience akan faham, oh ok, this needs to be done first, this needs to be done first. So roughly that's the story event. Dalam lambakan series dekat Malaysia yang ada sekarang, macam mana peminat tempatan boleh rasa kelainan series ni? Apa elemen penting yang boleh buat penonton melekat lah? Well, I, I think first and foremost, this is on on view, bukan seperti drama-drama seri lain. And I would say that cerita yang sebegini, uh, tolak tepi the element of dreams, there might be other cerita about, about, about people dreaming masing-masing, tapi the, the, the dilemma that this actors face at the ending and the, the core story is sebenarnya secara original. Uh, like I said earlier, benda ni, if it was easy, ramai dah, probably for TV consumption pun orang buat dah, for, for, for Tressel TV, but TV, but it's not. So what viewers are looking for, they are looking for, for film directors, they are looking for film actors to actually buat this series. So uh, our challenge was to, to, to actually macam memanjangkan sebuah film lah. I mean, the, uh, at its core, sebenarnya this is a film punya topic atau film and genre. But you know, you're talking about 90 minutes or 110 minutes. But because it's a series, you have to drag it up to 10 episodes, which is literally almost about 10 hours. So that's the difference lah, how to make a, 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 a film punya plot to make it look, to make it uh, tak rasa macam we're dragging it up for, for 10 episodes. So it's different in that sense lah. So I, 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 I can't say that it's just ganjil. I'm saying it as for viewers as a whole, benda tu like lain daripada normal film drama. Uh, berkaitan dengan CGI, uh, dari segi acting juga, agaknya pada pengalaman korang, apakah komitmen baru yang korang kena bagi untuk lakonan CGI? Adakah lakonan CGI itu cukup relevan untuk fans pada waktu sekarang lah di mana CGI is uh, sangat-sangat, orang kata, accessible lah? I think uh, CGI banyaklah juga darang yang important but not to the extent of like serious and heavy CGI work so this is one of the the ones Charlie Magica had a lot of the classic genius You were, you were talking to trees, did I was talking to trees <laughs> Oh my god, classic chini and all that. That was very interesting. So that was like, my time. Saya punya first few experiences pun memang dengan abang Yus. But I've been involved in advertisements, and a lot of advertisements are also you know you need a lot of CGI's for that. So as an actor, kita memang kena gabungkan our imagination with what technically is given to us. A lot of times, walaupun bukan CGI pun, kita memang kena pretend that something's in front of us, beside us behind us all the time. Cuma the element we have to work with what the CGI people want to do and kita kena uh, macam, you know, follow through with, 
with their instructions a bit more carefully. Tapi it's always great fun. Sebab bagi pelakon, the the fun part is kita orang tak tahu what is going to happen. So finally, with the trailer tu macam Wah, wow, real ni atuk bing tu. <laughs> Nampaklah macam effort dia orang letak untuk buat something look believable. Because in my head, like CGI, because I'm not really involved in CGI. For me, like in my head, CGI still looks macam sort of not realistic. But this one, when I looked at it, I was like, wow, okay, you guys are like next level dah ni. Saya pun dalam proses belajar and I'm also impressed with what happens, you know, in post-production. Fatah, uh, maybe? Thank you, Dana. Yeah. It's a challenge uh, being an actor lah. Sebab kita sebagai pelakonnya, kita kena sentiasa bersedia dengan apa saja. Set kita tak nak, on the CGI punya part tu, kita tak nampak kan. So, as an actor, kita kena pandai imagine apa yang ada yang yang akan uh, akan akan diletakkan kesan khas yang akan diletakkan di, di satu scene tu. Sentiasa bersedia lah. Sentiasa bersedia dan buat sehabis baik. I wouldn't put too much emphasis on CGI because there's still much yes, CGI plays a role to tell the story but it's actually more, it's actually character driven. So pelakon-pelakon ni semua, they, they had to really do their homework, really had to know when to step up, really kena main graph dia orang, di mana dia orang nak menjual, di mana dia have to lay low. It's actually about, all about teamwork and how, and how this team and this, the, the, the group of actors macam Izu punya role is, is, is a, a second hero which is very important for, for to tell the story also, but benda tu akan orang akan macam, eh, ini bagus lah, kenapa tak pergi dengan dia ni? So, everyone did their, their role. So, we, 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 bukan nak cakap nak, nak memperkecilkan elemen CGI, but there's more to it than that lah. The review tu punya community effect terhadap pengkarya. So, soalan saya pada, maybe kepada Abang Yusri, uh, apa? Kami di Bayang People jalankan film review berdasarkan penilaian fans scoring dibuat secara public scoring. Lepas tu, dengan pelbagai review community yang berluasa sekarang and we as one of them Boleh tak kita tahu dari perspektif orang-orang industri, pekerja kreatif tu sendiri, pengkarya What do you think of this culture? Adakah public and non-industrial related review relevant untuk karya anda? Well, the, the way things go is as such, you know, you're, you're talking about when, when I, uh, I I watch football too, okay? Uh, when I watch football, during half time, all these pundits will say, kenapa manager ni buat itu, kenapa manager ni buat ini, kenapa player ni ni. To me, uh, these pundits uh, who are mostly uh, not in the, the team would not know better than what the manager is doing. Now, I'm not saying that you guys don't know. You have your opinions, it's fine. I respect that. Memang masing-masing berhak untuk your opinions. But the way things go is as such that we are uh, in a social, social media, especially on there, that you in, can influence others from your pandangan. As a filmmaker, I cannot say that I tidak 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 heran atau tidak terjejas. But the best I can do, I cannot please everyone. You know, for, for whatever you do, you always have to please yourself first. Because if I try to please you, you might not like it. If I try to please A, B might not like it. You know, there's no point trying to please other people. The best thing you can do is just be true to yourself, be true to the, the script that you got. And be, like like any other projects, this is uh, unless it's my own script. This is this was entrusted to me by the scriptwriters, by the producer, by by view. You. you have to bear in mind you ada ada banyak levels of the punya penapisan. Whoever lepas for ganjil ni is almost like a validation of who's who in this because. Semua pelakon ini sendiri semua had to read their script. Semua kena buat casting. So it's not like any other macam oh, because you got followers 3 juta your eight juta. So you have you have to just sampai that, that level also coming back to the question. So I think at the end of the day is you know, what you do for your art. You minat tak buat benda ni? Uh, kalau you minat untuk please other people you probably the wrong. Okay. So, I, I don't know me to sound arrogant eh. Just, but, <laughs> but, but that, that's the way it is for, for most makers because you cannot try to please other people. Correct. Right. Sebab kita pun nak tahu juga di, di bahagian pula sana bagaimana pula kan. Eh. Ya, yeah, I can't say that I don't care. Of course, good reviews always make, make me see better at night. But, 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 if I have bad reviews, just another one I have to like lepaskan lah. Like.